Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a get ready with me and I am super excited because it's a casual glam where I show you guys my hair, my makeup and my outfit. The hair and the makeup are definitely more on the glam side but the outfit choices are definitely something that's a little bit more laid back and comfy which to be honest is my favourite combination. This video was kindly sponsored by Pretty Little Thing so all of the clothing, the accessories and even my lashes actually today are from Pretty Little Thing and I'm just loving every single piece that I'm wearing in this video and if you guys are interested i will be leaving all of the links down below in the description to all of the items mentioned from pretty little thing today so be sure to check them out and a massive thank you to pretty little thing for sponsoring this video if you like get ready with me is where i do my makeup hair and outfit be sure to subscribe for more videos like this also be sure to follow my instagram which is just layla and i will just stop talking and get into the makeup portion of this video Okay guys, so I'm actually starting this get ready with me with doing my eyes because I'm doing a smoky sort of kind of look which probably will have a fair amount of fallout and also I want to clean up the sides of my eyes so it just kind of makes more sense to start with my eyes. So I've primed my eyes with some concealer and I've also set it into place using a little bit of powder. This just helps so there won't be any transfer because um, sometimes my eyelid transfers to um, above my crease so that's just to prevent that. Today I'm using a mixture of colours from this really warm palette from Beauty Bay and I'm first of all starting off with a really warm orange brown shade from that palette and using it to create a smoked eyeliner look. I basically want to just focus all of the eyeshadow color onto the eyeliner sort of region. I don't want anything in my crease, I don't want anything on my lid. I feel like it gives a nice casual but smoky look at the same time so I really really love it. Um, I'm kind of blending a lot in between each color and I'm starting off with the lightest color and gradually getting darker and closer to my lash line. This is just a really good method to create that nice smoky eyeliner look and I really love doing this. I like to clean up continuously so that I can see what kind of shape I'm creating and seeing what kind of blend it looks like. So I've started off with a light brown and I'm going continuously into a dark brown before black. So black is basically the last color I actually apply onto the lid. I'm using a smaller brush to apply this black just because I don't want to take it up too high and I'm also making sure to clean up and blend throughout this process as well so that it can look nice and transitioned into the other browns. So next I'm just going to be applying my mascara and I am going to be applying some forced lashes. The forced lashes I'm applying today are actually a collaboration between Pretty Little Thing and Tarty Lashes. As you guys know Tarty Lashes are one of my favourite brands of lashes so I'm so pumped that they have a collab with Pretty Little Thing. This one is in the style She's Fire and it kind of elongates towards the end and I think it's just so perfect for this look. This one's really well suited for this kind of look so I really love the way that it turned out. I'm also just making sure to apply them securely but also making sure that when I do apply my eyeliner I'm applying it only in between my real lashes and the false lashes to make it look like a nice seamless blend. And I also want to apply a little bit of mascara to just kind of seal that in and make it look like it blends seamlessly. So that's the eyes pretty much done. It's really simple and just really nice and soft. So now I'm moving on to foundation. I'm actually using this foundation for the first time today and I really loved it. This is from Fenty Beauty and I think this is the moisturizing foundation. I normally use the Pro Filter which is more of like a soft matte finish but this one is a little bit more moisturizing but it's still supposed to be long wearing. I could definitely agree with that. It lasted actually a really long time to be fair considering it is a more moisturizing kind of foundation. So I really love it and I actually really like the finish of this foundation. So I just applied it all over my face and then I applied some concealer with it. Um, I like to apply a lighter concealer under my eyes just to really give myself a nice brightened and lifted eye look and I applied it kind of in a triangular shape under the eyes to again further that nice lifted face. Once that's on, I just wanna make sure to set it into place. I'm just using some powder to do that and making sure to get the under eye area first and also the oilier areas and kind of target them and then focus on the other areas afterwards. I'm also bronzing, this is just really standard just cause I wanna add some dimension to my face to stop your face from looking matte and flat. So applying some bronzer on the outer perimeter of my face is just gonna to help to bring some color and also bring some dimension to my face as well. 
I'm also applying some brightening powder, like a highlighting powder underneath my eyes to further make my under eyes look brighter and just to bring them forward and to again um, complement the bronzer that I just applied. I don't really like to contour too much all the time so the bronzer kind of acts as a contour for me and I just like to apply that under my eyes to really help create that nice brightened look. I'm also going to be contouring my nose because it sometimes looks a little bit strange if you like highlight and bronze or contour the rest of your face and you don't contour your nose uh, and plus I just I like the way that my nose looks when I contour it a little bit as well it just kind of looks finished and polished. Next moving on to my eyebrows I feel like you guys have seen me do this so many times but i'm just starting off with some clear brow gel and putting them into place and also making sure that i'm brushing them into the place that i want them to stay because a lot of the brow gels that i use especially this one when they set they set so they're not moving for sure so i want to make sure that i kind of push them into place before i actually start filling them in i'm actually using two brow pencils today i'm using a lighter one and then a slightly darker one over it to create some nice natural looking brow strokes and by the way a couple of my brow hairs are out of place for the rest of this video so let's just ignore that So next I'm going to be applying some blush. I'm actually using a highlighter as a blush because I don't really like using highlighter too much. Um, so I'm using a little bit of a two-in-one and I'm applying this on the apples of my cheeks and just rolling it back to give a little bit of a glowy look. Now I'm moving on to my hair and as you guys can see my hair is just in a bit of a state <laughs> to be honest with you. I had it wavy and I put a fair bit of hairspray in it so it's kind of like stuck kind of where it was and there's some bits where it just looks like it's like not gonna straighten so it's not the best time to straighten your hair just to just an huge disclaimer i wouldn't recommend trying to straighten your hair once you've already put some like styling products in it it's not the best i have curly hair and i really shouldn't be doing that so i'm just being honest don't do that <laughs> but i really needed my hair to be straight because it was just looking like a state so i sectioned my hair and was just straightening it i was trying to be as minimalistic as possible with the heat but it just wasn't really going down so yeah it was a bit of a damaging day for my hair but i'm kind of just trying not to do it too often so yeah so this part is definitely self-explanatory i'm just going through section by section and straightening each strand of hair and i'm trying not to apply too much heat on it like trying to avoid it as much as possible but to be honest my my hair is quite resistant to heat a lot of the time as long as i don't overdo it so yep it's not the best time to be doing this but it's fine it will it will live as long as i don't keep doing this <laughs> so once my hair is completely straightened i just like the look of tucking it behind my ears and just applying um any like hairsprays or like anything to kind of slick it down i like that kind of look so i've gone for that and then i've just gone in with applying my lip color before we put on our outfit i am using cappuccino lip liner as per usual as i do with every nude and i'm actually using one of these gloss balms from fenty beauty i really love this it's really really nice and i'm just loving the whole glossy look with this eye so my makeup and hair is finally done and i am going to change into my outfit because i definitely can't stay in this baggy white t-shirt well i could but I don't want to I'm changing into my outfit so let's get into the outfit details as I already mentioned this whole outfit is from pretty little thing so with the glasses and the earrings I just want to really quickly talk into what made me style this outfit I wanted to go for something that was super laid back and really kind of just chill because my makeup and well, not my hair, but my makeup isn't really chill, but it's glam. And if I go for something really laid back as far as outfit, super comfy. I just feel like it balances the look and it just looks so nice. So the look that I've gone for is a really oversized um, sweatshirt. It's in this really nice navy blue color and I've paired it with some gray jogging bottoms. For shoes, I just went with some classic Jordans to pair with this outfit. And for accessories, all the accessories are also from Pretty Little Thing. The bag is, I really love this. I love the print that goes across the strap. I just think it goes so well with this look. The earrings are also from Pretty Little Thing. And then I've also got these glasses on, which I feel like just ties the look together and just really gives it 
even more character, which I love. And they're small enough that you can kind of see the eye makeup showing through. It's not like it's completely covered. It just gives it that little 90s flair to it. I wanted to really quickly pop in and show you guys another outfit option. I just wanted to show you something that was even more laid back if you wanted to go for something that was a bit different and also something that you could take off the jacket if it's still warm where you are. I went for this... Um, it's, I think it's meant to be for working out, but I wore it for this. It is quite cropped, so if you're not comfortable with that, you could definitely go for just like a normal white tank top for this. And I paired it also with the gray jogging bottoms and an oversized hoodie. I will be leaving links to all of the outfit items that I've mentioned down below in the description box. I'm also going to be listing the sizes that I got as well because I know that's super helpful, especially when I'm trying to buy oversized stuff as well. So guys, that's the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. As you guys know, I love doing get ready with me videos. I love doing ones that are the hair, makeup and outfit all together. I just think it's so fun. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and the support. Thank you for for being with me for so long and if you haven't been here for very long thank you for joining and i will see you all in the next video very very soon bye guys